Hello YouTube, Northern Ohio Diecast here. Um, doing a little challenge by uh, Gary's Diecast Collection to show uh, random cars. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and start with this uh, 69 Chevelle SS396. I had a uh, opening trunk on it. No, I did the uh, taillights weren't like that. I went ahead and painted them in. They were just chromed. I put those in and I if I can get this there it goes without chipping any of the paint it's a gold color got an opening hood I detailed under there too it's uh, supposed to light up it's got it takes two batteries and I put them to the bottom of this I don't know who makes this it doesn't say on the base but it's pretty heavy I mean pretty solidly built Pretty sweet little uh, 69 Chevelle SS car. I know a guy that owns one of these that have its black. Next one we'll look at is a 70s Ford van made by Ertl. Napa. seen one of these I think I was on diecast car nuts channel he uh, it's, uh, I forget what it, what it says on the side but it's not Napa I don't even remember if it was diecast car nuts I can't keep up with everybody's videos I've, I've got I'm subscribed subscribed to like over a hundred people that do diecast on YouTube so it was a pretty sweet one next one we'll look at is this Subaru WRX Bug Eye the Bug Eye STI Hot Wheels Premium it was from uh, the Cars and Coffee 2017 very nice car love that they uh, made the uh, headlights part of the uh, window give it that lens to look <sighs> next one we'll look at is this matchbox Pontiac Firebird formula I follow a guy on uh, YouTube and IG his name's uh, Nodak Wolf, he's a big uh, Firebird Trans Am guy. He recently did one of these cars as a custom. It's a Zinger that he did, and it looks really good. I love this this blue on this. Pretty sweet piece. See some casting lines in it, but it's okay. I don't know what year this is. Yeah, it does a 71. 71 Firebird Formula. Got a plate on there. I don't know what state that is. I think it's uh, maybe New Jersey. No, it's a Michigan plate. It's got a Michigan plate on it. Next one we'll look at is this Toyota off-road truck, Baja truck. Hot Wheels 100% line. About 20 years ago. Metal on metal, it screws, it's got a screw base on it so you can take this apart and put different bodies on it. Next ones I have are still carded. You got this Baja Bug in blue. What year is this from? Um, 2005. And 2004 copyright, so they've been on pegs in 2005. 
Be a sweet bug. The next one I got is this Ford Anglia. He asked me, this is an ugly, ugly car, but, you know. It's one of them, Brit one of them British cars. Real popular British cars that are popular over there across the pond. In 2006 is what it went on, been on pegs. Got a Fast and Furious Nissan Skyline GTR uh, GTR BNR34 with the uh, orange Toyota Supra livery on it. Got a California plate on there. At least I think that says California. Can't really be too sure what that says. A freaking magnifying glass. Yeah, it says Universal on it. It doesn't say California. It just says Universal. Um, it's a nice one. Next one we're going to look at. This is a uh, Monte Carlo. It's called the Montezuma. This gold, uh, you know, this Joker thing on it, or Jack, Jack of Hearts on it. Pretty sweet detailed interior. Focus. Come on, focus. It's got like a plush interior, a faux plush interior in it. Pretty sweet car. Got the five dots on it. I kind of think if I were the guy at Mattel that uh, designed this, I think I would only have the, you know, the uh, wire wheels on it, or the uh, BBS basket wheels, whatever you want to call them. I call them BBSs. Make it look more realistic as a lowrider. That's what we'll look at. Is this... Chevelle SS 454 Butterfinger Plastic base metal body I always for some reason I always thought this was metal on metal But it's not The gold one I know is metal on metal the gold one and the first edition blue one those two were metal on metal and then the uh Ones from the classic series, obviously, are metal on metal. Uh, shine away from Hot Wheels for a little bit. I got this yellow stomper. Really in really good condition, except for, I don't know what this is on the tire. I think it's white paint, but that'll come off. Hardly any scratches on it or anything. There's a few on the top here, but it's a kid's toy. What can you expect? Suspension on these things is, is the sweetest. I love these Stomper vans. They're so awesome. I'm wanting some of the uh, Dodge Rampages. It's not die cast. It is all plastic, but it's still they're still cool. Next one we'll look at, if I can get it off this case, is this. I think it's a T Bird, yeah, it's like a T Bird Stalker. Then the Black Knight. It's got uh, these hot ones, gold hot ones on it. Very sweet K 
casting from Hot Wheels that I wish they still did. We got this Matchbox Toyota Supra in black. It's like a metallic black, but it needs cleaned. Maybe from my fingers, you know, handling it. The taillight tampos aren't exactly on, but hey, what can you expect for, you know, mid-90s Matchbox? Mid-90s, early 2000s. Uh, copyright 1994, so that I think, because I've, I've still got the packaging for this, I think it came out in like 99, 98, 99. Pretty neat one, this was around the time that they were releasing the uh, Premier Collection too, which I've got the hot, the uh, Super from that as well. I've also got a black Ferrari Testarossa from that. I got a bunch of Premier Collection cars. The Mustang's sitting, a Cobra Mustang is sitting right there. last one we'll look at is this and this one's beat to hell but it's old and, and i think yeah it says it's from 1982 so you got this 79 firebird which eventually i must send off to nodak wolf it's got the uh, opening doors on it red interior it needs clean bad it's dirty 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 but i got this in a, like a bag of cars from like goodwill or something i don't remember where i got exactly where i got it i seen it, i was like hey the thing that's pretty sweet because i'd never seen one of these road champs like this before these 164 scale road champs and if you compare this to the green light it's about the same about the same size yeah the green light's more detailed but hey with this right here i think it's better than this Because I had to fix the base on this. It was all tweaked so you can see where I put the glue and shit. And the car was sitting like like slanted like this. Because the base was tweaked. But I fixed it. But that's going to be it for this video guys. Um, as always take care. Stay safe. Be kind to others. And peace.